What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so this is where we left our project car off from yesterday when I went to the junkyard to get these parts, which if you're following the SC build we just talked about in the last video, now it's time to tackle this project, make this car better. This is like exactly the example of buying an older Japanese JDM tuner car from the 90s. I mean, it's the textbook story and that's how I got this car. Somebody bought it, big eyes, big ambitions, no business buying it, way in over their head. I came in, swooped it up at the right price and now we're gonna save it. When I talk about it in those Facebook marketplace videos, I'm not making that shit up. It is real, that's how it works all the time. We're gonna save this guy. So first thing first, we gotta get this window regulator installed. And it's nice because they already installed a re removed the old one. We gotta be careful to open this door. It like catches on the fender. They already took it out. So I'm not gonna be able to show you how to remove it, but I am gonna show you how to put it back in. And look at, so this is literally what they were using for a door handle. This guy right here. Um, they, I'll give them props on this. So this is, it's flipped backwards, but it's hella zip tied and they've got some stuff stuck in there like they did a lot of work to make this usable while they had it all tore apart so i mean i'll give them props for that zonkam on not being able to get the motor back in or at least get a new motor to put it back in but it doesn't matter let's get it put together look at this look at this so i had to take this all apart and uh, get it prepped up put in the comments below what do you guys think of the sc excited for the project did i buy something I shouldn't have. Are you thinking about getting an SC? Everything, are you excited for this to see how we're gonna restore this guy? And soak it in guys, soak it in, cause this is what it looked like now. I didn't, I don't have a lot of just clear footage on the, the 300ZX, but that thing was basically the 300ZX equivalent of this. And now I, I absolutely love that car, it's my favorite car. So I'm a bit excited for what uh, my envision for this car is. I'm gonna get to it. Take this rest of this door panel together, get this put in. All right, guys, we got it in. It's pretty easy. I did take off that bar just to have more room um, and fighting it. So I did pull this motor out of the junkyard. If you do go to the junkyard, here's some tips on what you're gonna need to pull one of these out. For one, you're going to need power. If the window goes all the way up, this is where it connects to the regulator. It's up here if the window's all the way up. You will not be able to disconnect the window. You can take out those, that, and those three to unbolt everything. But until you can get it disconnected from the window, you won't be able to remove that unit. So what you need to do is hit it with power. Here's the connection right here. When I was in the junkyard, I had this. I just took some leads, went off the battery positive and the battery negative, hooked it up to uh, the motor right here, positive and negative. And if it needs to go up or down, you just switch them. If it's up, you're gonna need to reverse the polarity. So you'll actually need to put, see I have red and green, so of course power and ground. But it, to go up and down, you gotta spin the motor backwards. So if, if this is up and you're in the junkyard, you need to hit your ground to the red and your power to the green. That will bring the motor down. Once the motor's down and you have it like this, you better have a flathead screwdriver out there in the junkyard. This is a specialty tool, obviously, to get this off. What I did is just take this and use it as a chisel. And I didn't even have a hammer out there. I just used a rock and lightly tap it. It'll spin, it'll spin free. Do that on both sides. You don't wanna tap it too hard for one, or there's a window there for two. There's a little plastic grommet, and this one on I was already looking when I was putting it back together is brittle and like they're just you don't want to break them because that is your spacer that you need for the window to mount to this and everything. Once you have that off, it's uh, two bolts up top here, 
one bolt on the bottom there and then three bolts one here here and here for the motor and those will come and that'll pop that unit out so of course we just did the opposite to put it in i got the motor kind of put in place first ran a couple nuts on there so it didn't fall out backwards we got the top in right here you might have to kind of pry the door apart a little bit to get everything to clear for those because it is tight up there just fyi and the window needs to be all the way to the top and then that let it slide down put our you saw how we did all that boom 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 got these locked up now we're done it works boom so within 24 hours we've of owning the car we've already got the window regulator replaced next i'm going to work on the door hinge because i feel like that is just really uh, not great and it's going to damage that fender which is already damaged but i'm actually going to try and repair that fender so i don't want to damage it anymore and this door is sagging it's just ridiculous so we're going to try that next let me get this buttoned up first The wiring harness actually runs in between this door hinge. So I'm gonna have to come back to the door hinge. What I will do, is I don't think we're gonna take the harness off of this, because I don't think that's how it comes. I think it's gonna need to get disconnected under the dash right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the door panel back in place here. We'll put that back on. It's in the back of the trunk. And we've also got, there is into to trouble. There's also got some hatch struts to put back there for the trunk, just making it not a shit box when you have to hold your trunk up. That's like shit box number one. And we'll actually go through, there's some extra parts in the trunk here. Oh, what's up, Z boys? All right, so yeah, not gonna work. We've got the door panel. This car is kind of like in poor shape exterior wise. I think the motor's pretty healthy. But it's got, it hasn't been f***ed with, and that's the number one thing. Minus the door panel, they were trying to fix that, couldn't figure it out. It's complete, it's so complete. It's got the CD changer, the eight disc, or 12 disc CD changer. And it's even got the original phone, car phone. So this car is not, I mean, you know fuck boys, first thing they're doing is taking out that phone and that CD plate charger, that, all the time you see that. It's even got the original windshield wiper from Lexus. Uh, we're going to refinish that and put that back on the car. But let's get this door panel out. It's also got another one of those. That was a bag of little miscellaneous parts. We got our first aid kit there. Oh, you're soaking wet. Get this door panel put back on there. But the car is complete. And that was the big thing on why I bought this car. All right, well, this door panel has been kicked around. It's dirty. <laughs> Cracked it right there trying to pull it off. Claire soaked herself. I'm so difficult. Yeah, you are difficult. This is super dirty. It is a shame that it is cracked right there. Not knowing how to take this shit apart. I mean, remember what this looks like. We're gonna have to try and fix it, boys. Uh, that's horrible, but it looks like that's just the worst part of the whole deal is that someone f***ing rained on that and broke that shit all up trying to get this f***ing door panel off. Well, let's see what I can do to make this magic and put it back together. Don't scratch the paint. All right, well, digging into this door panel, we've got issues. So, I mean, somebody's been in here, finger in this, but they actually probably did good. Um, it is super broken. It is super unfortunate. We got that one. This is literally where you're gonna pull the door to close it. Is on this. These are broken. Broken over here. I'm gonna see what we can do to salvage this. I do not have another driver's side door panel. 
This is actually, this is actually decent. It's the plastic part that needs help. We'll see what we can do. Uh, getting another one is gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna put the door project on hold for tonight. Sun's going down. It's time to go do some other stuff for today. We'll come back. We gotta do the door hinge. We did the regulator, replaced that, got that all tightened up. It works, motor, boom, good. Put new struts in the back for the trunk. They're a little bit better than the ones that are on there, but they're not perfect. So, you know, that's what you get when you pay $4 out of the junkyard for something. Might not be everything you want it to be, but that's the gamble I'm willing to take. Call at your boy, call me on the phone, email me your Z, email me your SC300, 400, whatever you got. If you want to see, we can review some of those. Uh, we'll continue to hunt for them. We'll continue this project on the next one. We'll tackle the door panel, the hinge, and whatever else we got. All right, I'm gonna put up a playlist right now of some more SC300, 400 content. Go ahead and check that out and put it in the comments below. What is this, an SC300 or an SC400? I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.